All right, so let's get started. Thank you for joining everyone. Great to see you again. So, uh, yeah, so this is the 29th of July on, uh, on Thursday. Not Friday yet, on Thursday. So thank you for joining everyone. Great to see you again. So I was doing the second channel live stream just earlier before this uh, public live starts and it was fun, it was very fun. Uh, I need to do this occasionally because um, I like to see these comments and uh, yeah, just uh, some uh, yeah, brief discussions about uh, what I've been done uh, after I moved to Dubai. So I will do the live stream on the second channel and also upload on videos of my Dubai life in my second channel. So please look forward to it. And do you see any difference from previous live stream today on, in terms of the, the screen? Do you see any difference? Actually, I changed the camera. So before, I think my, my face was a bit dark, but today I think it looks better, a bit better. So hopefully uh, it's working okay. I might have to adjust some settings or anything, but um, looks like it's working great. Okay, so let's start. Let's check some charts and see what's happening in the market. All right, uh, all right, so let's see. Oh, um, Tauro Mido and Hui Tat, thank you for joining on my Ichimoku community. So after you join the community by pressing the join button, please come to this, um, please come to the web page of my website, Ichimoku webpage, and scroll down a little bit, and please click on this over here, click here to join Ichimoku Discord. And once you join the Discord and connect your YouTube account to Discord, then finally you can get all the perks in the Discord. So, yeah, but thank you for joining and stay old. There will be a Ichimoku live stream after the public live and uh, we are doing some live trades there. So hopefully you join the live stream afterwards too. Okay, so uh, yeah, and uh, let's see. Let me quickly say hi to everyone. Uh, Mirajo, thank you for joining. Sorosh, Faiz, Bachi, Henry, Movie Hero, and Saman, World Trekker. All right, great to see you, Jeff. Asif, thank you for joining as well. Great to see you too. Muhammad and Gustavo, Edge, Krishna, and Ivan, Cam90, and uh, Dory Silk, Peter, and uh, Taro. Once again, thank you for joining, and great to see you, everyone. All right. Yeah, okay, the camera looks better. Yeah, yeah, I think the camera frame looks much better than previous one. All right, so let's get started. So before starting here, just a quick disclaimer. As usual, my content here is basically based on my knowledge and experience. So when you take trades, please do add in risk management. And if you can follow, the guidelines and rules during this live stream, that would be great. So, um, today, a um, couple pairs are trending. So, let me screen. Actually, I am actually on the USCC AD pair. Looks like the market reversing backwards, and I think it's about to hit the break even. Let me pull up the MT5. Where is MT5? Is over here. Yeah, looks like uh, yeah the market is heading backwards and about to hit the break even. So I had two positions here. I sold here. I found this uh, in 15 minute chart. I ha I saw this uh, dead cross on stochastics and the band walking and also Fibonacci bounce. There was a Fibonacci bounce, so I took that sell here and expect the market goes down this way because in a forward chart. 4 and 1 was downtrending, so I was expecting that the market goes down on the reverse in the wave. So I took a sell here and afterwards it has been a range for some while. But finally, the market broke downwards and became reverse in the wave. And that's when I moved the stop loss to break even. 
and I was expecting the market continuously go down, but it didn't happen today, unfortunately. I was expecting the market goes this way, but it doesn't, and it became range. So, and after the market reversed backwards, so now in forward chart, it's, it's flat. In one also, it's flat right now. Let me switch it to the trading view. In the trading view, on USCAD, in the forward chart, this is now flat. You can see that the Kumo Senkosman B flat, A flat, and Kijun Sen is flat at the moment. So in this condition, and also Kijun Sen, Tenkan Sen also flat. So in this condition, the market can retrace all the way back to Kijun Sen, possibly. Right? It's not 100%, but possibly the market retraces backwards. So when I see this, I look for an exit timing. And I was looking at the 50-minute time frame, and I saw the market reversing backwards here, and there was a potential double bottom created, and that's why I exited on one of the positions. So usually I take two positions, and I trail, I trail the profit in different time frames. So this one I only got like 12 pips of profit. I only got like, uh, yeah, from here, it was like 12 pips or 10 pips of profit only. And other one still kept it break even. And if the market hits the break even, then simply I take it. Yeah, 12 pips is like, like uh, yeah, it's, it's like nothing really. As compared to the trending market, 12 pips of profit is too, too low. So, if it goes backwards, then simply I exit at the break even. And the important thing is that you don't lose. Yeah, you don't lose is a key to success. So until you set the break even line is a key to success. So um, yeah, looks like in the forward chart, it's been flat right now. And also in one or chart two, it's flat now. You can see that in one or chart, the Kumo Senkosman B flat, A flat, and also Kijun Sen flat too. So the market can reverse backwards all the way to Kijun Sen. And if I see this setup, then I will look for an exit timing. So, uh, yeah, and so that, that was my trade for today. But still, there is a potential downtrending direction because simply the price is located below Kijun Sen, Tenkan Sen, Kumo, the price location. And also, Chikou Span location is also below the candles. So this means that this, there is, this is still bearish. It's still bearish, so we might see some bearishness still. But um, it doesn't mean that the market goes down from here. It might be. And that's why I'm still setting the break-even line. But uh, it also possible that the market retraces backwards to the Kijun Sen area. So simply, um, what I wait for to look for sell chance next time is that I wait for either single spam B down, A down, plus Kijun Sen down, and then look for the sell chance. If it happens within the range market, then I still take it and look for the sell chance in the lower time frames. But uh, if not, if the market reverses backwards, continuously go upwards from here, then obviously I won't look for any sell chances because it becomes bearish trend round. Sorry, it becomes bullish trend or retracing backwards. Okay, thank you for joining everyone once again. Great to see you here. So, um, yeah, so that's actually one of the pairs um, that I wanted to talk about today, especially because I was on the position. I am actually on the position. It's about to hit the break-even line. 
So I'm not sure if you have done the break-even line or not, but if you haven't tried it yet, please try. Break-even line is very powerful. At the mo from the moment you set the you set the uh, the stop loss break even, you don't lose. Even the market retraces backwards, you don't lose. And actually, this is one of the cores of my strategy. But if you move the break, if you move the stop loss break even too soon, then um, you get too many break even trades. So the timing is also very important. Don't move the break-even line too soon. Make sure that the market goes towards the direction for some minutes or hours and then break-even line to set. Oh, Darrell, thank you for the comment. So yeah, if you liked today's live stream, please press the like button before you leave. That would be great. All right, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, depending on where you are. Thank you for joining, and great to see you from Dubai. All right. Orvin says, I chose USDC run instead of USDC CAD since there was less support in the retrace recent past. Yeah, Dara run was okay also. Uh, I was actually marking that pair too, but uh, since that a Swissfront is, you know, Swissfront pairs, I, I take it like a less priority. So I was actually seeing these uh, multiple pairs. I was watching that a Swissfront, that a CAD, and also Pound Daughter. I was actually watching these three pairs and picked the Daughter CAD simply because the target was the previous support was at around this level 1.2439 or all the way to the week low was at the um, 1.24226 so i was expecting the market to continue to go down to that level and um, it was um, it was about like 35, 36 to 48 or 50 pips of profit was expected and that's why I placed that sale. So, but yeah, you took the data switch run and that was the right call. Yeah, data switch run, I didn't take the sale and that was because I saw a little consolidating market here. So I was thinking that the market might be supported or create range or retrace at around 0 0.9078 level. I was thinking that it might be retraced backwards and especially this is the Swiss from pair. Uh, the market can be very tricky. So that's why I decided not to take this one. But uh, yeah, since this is still going down, we can still look for the sell chance. I might be switching from dollar cat to dollar six front to sell. So let me see. In the forward chart, it's down trending. In one, it's also yeah, nicely down trending too. And let's see. In 30, this is also down trending too. So this is a very nice and stable downtrend. Today, there was a resistance at the Kijun Sen on the 30 minute chart. So this is a stable downtrend and with that in mind let me look at the five minute chart in five it looks to be a stable bearish in the waves so i think this is a nice pair to look for the sell chance to expect the market continuously go down this way yeah i think this is a nice one there was a dead cross in stochastics also looks like it continuously going down Uh, also, there was a descending trend line bounce. I think it was, there was a, uh, the market has been bouncing by the trend line, descending trend line. So even the market retraces backwards, it might be resisted and continues to go down this way. 
is also expected in this case. There was a um, support here at, the, at this level, 0.90723. So the market might retest the support and it might continuously go down this way too. So I think this is a nicely downtrending. Let me check the currency strength chart and which currency is causing this downtrend. So let's see. The strength chart, I just pick USD and Swiss run. And the pair is going down is simply because today's the week USD day. Yeah, after FOMC last night, looks like the USD has been sold today and it's bearish. So, yeah, I think, uh, and this trend might be persistent as long as USD is weaker than other currencies. So, yeah, Swiss front was also bearish, but uh, yeah, for the last couple hours, it's been uptrending. So it also contributes the market as a pair, USC Swiss run to go down. So um, yeah, let's see. If I quickly look at this pair again, I think this is a nice one to sell. This is like all time, all time low for the last couple of uh, days. Yeah, let me briefly look at the market as per Fibonacci extension. I can see that there is a reversed end wave starting from here. Precisely the reverse end wave started from here and retraced backwards from this candlestick and pullback happened here. And the market has been on the I wave so far. So we want to see how far the market go down if it continues in five minute chart. And in order to capture that, I use the Fibonacci extension expansion level. So I drag it from the low to the high on this, on this, uh, on this little reverse in the wave in five minute chart. The market bounced here and continuously go down. So if it goes down continuously, most likely the market will go down to 0 0.9065 and 0 0.9061 and it looks like the market is reaching to that level so it might retrace backwards from here even the market continuously go down this way it might retrace backwards so at this moment at this moment we have to be careful for the retracement you can actually capture this in 15 minute chart too because essentially in 15 minute chart, the wave analysis is the same. If you capture this reverse in wave in 15, then yeah, these are also targets on this reverse in wave due to Fibonacci levels. So um, if it, uh, yeah, so both in 15 and five, I can expect the market reverses and it might reverse back to this descending trend line and continuously go down this way. And when it goes down, when it goes down continuously, when it breaks the support at 0 0.9065 and continuously go down this way, then you don't use this Fibonacci extension anymore. You have to use, you have to take this high and low, new, the, the previous, the most previous high and low to get the target and that will be different but until it happens i expect the market reverses so i think this is not the right time to jump in or simply wait until the market breaks these levels and look for a sell chance afterwards Yeah, that will be my view on this market.
All right. Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining once again. Great to see you, everyone, once again. Okay, so um, you're looking for an entry edge is not that easy. I mean, it seems easy, and if you get used to it, it becomes very easy. But uh, yeah, at the same time, we have multiple answers. Well, actually, there is no answer on when to exit, when to trade. So as long as you can convince yourself to trade, trade or exit, that will be your answer. So yeah, and because, because based on my experience, Swiss franc pairs are kind of spiky in lower time frames. So yeah, that also kind of stops, stops me to actually take trades in this, in this situation. Oh, Shankar, thank you for the comment. I, uh, I'm glad that you, yeah, that you found that you are finding more and more valuable information in your channel. That's very great to hear that. Philip says, uh, Data Swiss Run just broke downward channel. Yeah, downward channel in the 5 or 15 it broke. Let me quickly come back to the 4 hour chart. Yeah, it's still continuously downtrending. And yeah, in the forward chart, it also broke the channel downwards too. So this is a very stable and strong downtrend, I would say. So, um, but let me check the daily chart just in case. So here's the daily chart. And on the daily chart, it shows that the market is ranging or tracing backwards simply because the Kumo is flat. And Kijun Sen, Tenkan Sen going downwards and Chikou span below the candles. But uh, Kumo itself is flat still. So in this daily chart basis, the market might retrace backwards so it might, but it might be after some pips down, then reverse backwards. So if you are a scalper to intraday trader, then you can look for the sell chance on this one. Looks like the previous key level was here at around 0 0.9047. There were previous two resistances here. So. I think that will be an, uh, the target in this condition. So yeah, we'll see which way it plays out. In the meantime, let's check some other charts now. So let's see, Tyler says, um, what do you think about the pound AUD? All right, let me check pound AUD. Pound AUD on the daily chart is bullish right now. The Kumo's up, Senko Span B is up, Senko Span A is also up, and Kijun Sen is up, Tenkan Sen is also up, and Chikou Span above the candles. So if you're new to Ichimoku, you have to first of all use five lines of Ichimoku to capture which one is trending and which one is ranging. And that's the very first thing I do. So in this condition, I see the bullishness as per each of five lines, and that allows me to go down to the lower time frames for, for, for confirmations. And Chikou Span location is also important. You have to find Chikou Span to be above the candles. Sometimes you see Kumo's up, Kijun Sen is up, Tenkan Sen up, but Chikou Span touching still with the candles. And I don't recommend to take trades to buy in that condition because the market is basically retracing or ranging still. 
So, and chikou span distance to candle is also important. If you see the wide, wide gap in between chikou span and candles, it also shows that this is strongly bullish trend. So, in that sense, this is a nice uptrend. And um, so, what I do is I look at the lower time frame. So, I look at the one hour chart. And looks like one hour chart is now flat or ranging. It's been just going up and down in the range because Kumo is flat, and the Kijun Sen angle is flat, Tenkan Sen also flat, and Chikou Span still overlapping, touching with the candles. So you might think that this is the uptrend, it's about to break the resistance level, but for me it's not. I still expect the market retraces backwards Tenkan Sen or Kijun Sen in this condition, simply because the buyers and sellers are in equilibrium. When you see flat Kumo, flat Kijun Sen, Tenkan Sen. So, when, if the buyers and sellers equilibrium at the resistance level, most likely it reverses backwards. So, I don't, I don't see any signs of breakout at this moment. So, I won't look for the buy chance yet in this case. I will make sure to wait until the Kumo goes up and the Kijun Sen points upwards and the Chikou Span comes above the candles and then look for buy afterwards. As the market gradually goes up this way, if you see this setup, then you can expect the market breaks the resistance. But since all the lines are flat right now, everything is flat right now, I don't think the breakout is going to happen. But I might be wrong. If the market breaks out, then simply wait for the retracement and simply look for the next opportunity. So that's, that will be the scenario for this pound AUD. Okay, number nine, taking a uh, Swiss franc pairs to change. That's good. Yeah, Swiss franc are actually active now. So I think that's a good choice. Victor says, um, okay, I'm currently sh shorting AUD NZD in one on chart. What's your thoughts? All right, let me check the AUD, AUD NZD pair. Personally, I don't trade NZD pairs because uh, they are volatile, spiky in lower time frames, and also the spreads are a bit higher than other pairs. So yeah, in terms of one hour chart, it's bearish, it broke the support at zero point, uh, sorry, 1.0567 level, and looks like it's continuously downtrend. Um, but there is a previous Reversal level. I also draw the reversal lines too. The reversal is where you see the previous support and resistances. And this is also considered to be the very uh, important line, which is at 1.0560 level. So but looks like the market is breaking that level downwards. So I think this downtrend is continuous. And the ultimate target in this case is going to be the previous week low at 1.0543 level. So there is a potential continuous downtrend uh, for the next uh, 15 pips or so. But um, yeah, once again, the market is at, at this reversal line, so it might turn bullish in time soon. Kumo is a bit too small. It's a bit too small, and also Kijun Sen is downwards, but since Kijun Sen is still above the, above the Kumo, this is not really trustable. So it might reverse backwards, so 
If it does, then I recommend you to exit as soon as possible. Okay, um, Sulinanto says, uh, Hi Kay, what's your opinion on Pound JPY? Alright, let's see. Pound JPY, I think it's ranging still in the higher time frames, but let me double check. As per daily chart, the price is into the Kumo now, so in the lower time frames can be very spiky. And with that in mind, if you look at the forward chart, this is bullish trend. The market has been supported by this Tenkan Sen twice, and this is bullish. So, yeah, um, we can look for the buy chance. But one thing is that there was a previous resistance level at 153.48, and also the second previous high is at 153.98 area. So, Yeah, once the market breaks that level, then um, it could go to the second previous high. And in the forward chart, it's bullish right now, so looks like it's about to happen. So I look at the one hour chart. In one hour chart, this is also bullish, and the market has been supported by this Tenkan Sen once before. So yeah, looks like it's about to break. This is bullish, and I will be looking for the buy chance on this one too. There was a, um, hold on, if I can enlarge the candles, there were relatively bigger bearish and bullish and bearish, bearish candles. So this is showing that the market is increasing the volatility, ups and downs. So. Whenever you see retracement, you have to exit very soon. And since this is JPY pair, I also look at the Tokyo box. In terms of Tokyo box, Tokyo box high was over here, and looks like it's about to break. It's breaking the Tokyo box upwards. So, yeah. To be safer, you want to wait until the market breaks the resistance level at 153.48 and look for the buy chance afterwards. But if you buy right now, then make sure you place a stop loss below the previous low. And when you see the market retraces, you have to exit very soon. Yeah, I can see that there, are, there is a fight between sellers and buyers in this range. so. To be careful for the spiky market once again because daily chart is showing the price is in the Kumo now so to be safer you want to wait until the Kumo breakout happens which is around at 153.48 and expect the market goes up all the way to 153.98 level So for intraday trader, I think it's good, but for a date swing trader, this is not a good situation to trade. All right, thank you for joining everyone. Great to see you once again. Bundy says, uh, I don't trade Forex and instead, of, instead I uh, double with crypto, but I've been meaning to say how much I appreciate your knowledge about the Ichimoku, bless up and long may you and everyone success help me a lot. That's great to hear. Thank you for the comment. Yeah, so no matter which market I look at, no matter which time frames I talk about, the things I say about Ichimoku Universal. And hopefully, you can apply my knowledge and strategies into your trades. Yeah, essentially, I'm not here to give fish, but I'm actually teaching everyone to fish. So, hopefully you can apply in your trace. And my goal is to 
my goal is for you to be able to trace by your own without my support. All right, Tyler, you're welcome. Gehard says, I need a broker has a more than 150 pairs, a lot of pairs, I mean a good spread. I'm not sure which broker offers 150 pairs. If you are a scalper and strictly following the, um, the rules on the lower time frames, I think that would be great. But I don't recommend trade like 150 pairs at the same time. On my watch list, I have 21 pairs. And uh, yeah, that's enough for me. I think 21 pairs are also a bit too, too, too much. I think uh, you can start with like uh, yeah, three to five pairs or even one pair to monitor and gradually increase number of uh, pairs to monitor. Initially, I only used to look at and trade USDJPY simply because I was born and raised in Japan and I studied in the US. so. I was familiar with US and JPY economy and news, and that's why I picked up the pair first. I traded, I traded it for one, one year, only that pair, and added euro and um, yeah, pound, and also I added the uh, other, other currencies. And I have the list right now. So. Yeah, you can add the number of pairs gradually. Okay, Dauda says, um, I am currently waiting for waiting to short gold USD, XAU USD. What are your thoughts? All right, and I have another one. One says about the gold. So let me check gold. Is it going down right now? Let's see. Gold has been ranging, so I haven't even looked at it today. Oh, it's going up right now. All right, so daily chart still showing range in market. So I guess we have to look at the lower time frames. Even the market goes up first, there was a resistance. There's a resistance level on the daily chart at 1834.76. So be careful. But with that in mind, let me check one hour chart. In one hour chart, this is bullish. And the target looks to be at 1834.76. Um, the market bounced by this Tenkan Sen once before based on one hour chart. But I still see that the Kumo is up, Kijun Sen is up also and Chikou span above the candles in one hour chart. So as long as one hour chart shows up trending, you can follow the uptrend. I think four is flat. Hold on. Yeah, four in a four hour chart that it's, it's uptrending, but the Kumo is too tiny. So we have to expect the retracement anytime soon. So I would prefer to follow the one hour chart uptrend. You can also draw the trend line and um, wait for the trend line bounce to come in this one hour chart. Um, yeah, let me check the five minute chart and looking at the price action. Yeah, I can see that there is a gradually uptrend. It's not a strong uptrend, but this is a gradual uptrend after this uh, after this uh, wedge breakout. The market has been on the end wave, so this is continuously bullish. As long as you see the lows are higher and highs are higher, this is uptrend so make sure you don't see 
the breakout of the support in 5 at 1825.82. If you see the market breaks that level, then it might be bearish or range. But uh, if the pushback happens above 1825.82 and when you see the bullish candles along the way, then that will be also buy. And that will be also for entry edge to buy in this condition. Okay, let's see. Ivan says, uh, how about Nasdaq? Let me see. Nasdaq uh, daily chart, it is uptrending. The Kijun Sen is up, Chikou Span above the candles, and the Kumo is up. So this is nicely bullish. And I can see the potential breakout of the resistance at 151.44. As for weekly chart, it is also bullish. So, yeah, there is a higher chance that the market breaks the resistance level. I would still look for the buy chance in this case. But with the stop loss, I look for the buy. In the one hour chart, this is ranging, or this is a bit like engulfing structure. This is a huge downtrend has been engulfing the future candles now. So although this is kind of bullish, it might retrace backwards anytime soon. Better to wait for the breakout of the resistance level at 8, uh, 15.087 to buy afterwards. If it breaks, then there is a potential breakout of the of the daily resistance level too. Okay, Sulinanto, you're welcome. But it looks like markets are active now, so that's a good news. That means we have opportunities to trade. Okay, Johnny says, uh, Nifty 50 view, please. Month, month view also. All right, Nifty 50, let's see. So starting from the monthly chart, since this is toward the end of the month, better to look at also the monthly chart on this market. Monthly showing that this is strongly bullish trend. We had this doji candlestick. So next month, if you see doji breakout, that will be a continuous uptrend. And if you can break it down to the weekly chart, there is a potential upward. Also because Kumo's up and Kijun Sen is up also. And price has been resist uh, sorry, supported by the Tenkan Sen right now. So I can still see that there is a potential breakout. Chiko span above the candles too, so this is good. It's too bullish. And also let me see, in the daily chart is ranging now still. There is no bullishness. So Simply, we can follow the monthly or weekly uptrend in this case. Okay, Pritam says, uh, Hi Kay, um, I really want you to show, your, uh, show you through a video how you set up the trading view uh, around the chart screening, which you are doing currently as you navigate so easily on the screen all the indicators. Sure, so basically I screen the charts based on the daily chart and the forward time frame. 
by Ichimoku, which one is trending, which one is ranging as per Kumo Kijun Sen and its correspond locations. And I have, I ha I've had a video uh, about how I screen the pairs. I timed myself before and on this 21 pair screening, it only took 2.5 minutes, 2.30 minutes. It took only to screen all these pairs. And I have a video so you can look back the archive and find the video too. Okay, so yeah, yeah, yeah let's see. Subash says, um, Hi, which is the best Forex broker to trade? The best Forex broker to trade, uh, depending on the region and countries, so I don't really want to recommend which specific broker is good. When I was in Japan, when I was in Japan, the, the regulation was very strict, so I wasn't allowed to use, you know, a um, couple brokers outside which which are famous, outside. But uh, as long as they have the lower spread, and also uh, take trades and exit trades without any problems, and um, the company has insurance that covers. In case anything happens in in the in the company, in the broker, um, make sure they have the insurance to cover uh, the the losing whatever money you lose. Yeah, these things are important. I think to to check. Okay, so um, yeah, I do see more comments, but uh, I will be switching a live stream to Ichimoku live stream and in there I will be looking for some market to trade if there is then uh, I will be taking some real trade and talk about the price action in Ichimoku so I will see you there and if you are joining public I will see you tomorrow on Friday at the next public live session so uh, yeah once again um, thank you for joining and uh, the market looks to be active so make sure every time you take trace make sure to place a stop loss and make sure to watch news before you take trace all right so yeah thank you for joining and until I see you next time please stay healthy stay safe and stay gold all right bye for now matane thank you